hear me the price for your healing tonight fully paid hear me in our economy we allow for part payment and sometimes the owner gets angry and says you have paid but you didn't pay all if your rent is 1.2 million you can pay 400,000 and say please give me some time the man can say okay depending on his own state if life presses him he can come back and say I changed my mind that's why he paid fully fully means not owing anything again in this deeply insightful sermon Apostle Joshua Selman takes us on a spiritual journey uncovering the often overlooked yet powerful truths that shape our walk with God when fully embraced lead to transformation and divine alignment watch now and be blessed so that which was supposed to keep me down ordinarily it was supposed to keep me down except that someone came in my stead and paid that price notice the next thing in the bible that followed paying the price is an advocacy for a lie the moment jesus resurrected the next plan was cover this up let people not know that is always what happens the next thing when satan knows that this is a reality the next thing becomes to cover it up so that you will never find out that because my father died an idol worshiper and buried all kinds of people and i came from that lineage it doesn't have to be that way the price has been paid <laughs> hallelujah Amen. price has been paid how was the price paid by a righteous man being unrighteous so that unrighteous people might be righteous hmm. paid the next thing you have any devilish dream and you see some other people calling you tell them you are calling the wrong person no no update your data in the spirit you are calling the wrong person no you are calling the wrong person calling you to come and do what and die calling you to have the cancer calling you to have the no you are calling the wrong person listen don't just this is a miracle service already this is the ministry of the spirit something is happening to you just because you cannot speak english who said you cannot rise just because you left a, a house where the roof is leaking to come here who told you that must be your destiny nobody ever rises until you are mindful of what you hear God is love what you hear Jesus came as an expression of the love of God what you hear he came to demonstrate the love of God is someone learning now many of us have been hearing a lot of things and it has destroyed our potential the price for all that you will be receiving tonight is fully paid last year we had our workers dinner and i watched as my precious people came gallantly and sat down and ate with joy and confidence everything that was before them some did not spare at all they had no time for any any composure that leads to regrets later on they ate whatever they had in front of them say fully paid fully paid fully paid, fully paid. The price for your rising fully paid now listen you will be wondering why it's been fully paid and yet it is not yet your inheritance this is my assignment to show you but whether or not you have experienced the dimensions of God you need the first thing is to accept that it is fully paid fully paid longevity fully paid prosperity say that one again prosperity your health and your life entering into your prophetic destiny the price for that mantle to rest on your life yes sir hallelujah if you like 
show me the photos of my forefathers holding arrows and burying whatever congratulations for connecting me to history but from the realm of the spirit you are talking to the wrong person honestly this is what i believe fully paid somebody that that's your revelation in koinonia this night fully paid fully paid fully paid the devil can go places it is fully paid fully paid sit down please do you know why this is powerful because you will see people receiving things tonight that they don't look like it was not them that paid it someone paid it for them listen if you think you are so poor and you are so weak and i decide to pay for a five bedroom flat with a three bedroom bq you will even be afraid as you are entering it but it is still paid you will adjust when you are inside you can't adjust outside the adjustment happens inside It's a miracle service, so it's still a miracle service. Number four, let's hurry up. What is the fourth revelation you must have? It is not the will of God for you to remain in any situation that does not give God glory. This is an uncomfortable truth, but you must accept it. It is not the will of God for you to remain in any situation that does not glorify God. This awareness is what would plant a dissatisfaction in you that even if it is after one year i will fight the fight of faith you cannot fight until you are aware that that current situation is not the will of god if it is the will of god then that means you are fighting god if you think sickness is the will of god you are fighting the will of god trying to get healed if you think poverty is the will of God, you are fighting the will of God. The awareness of the will of God is what gives you the confidence to know what to fight and to know what to allow. It is not the will of God for you to remain in any situation that does not glorify God. Matthew chapter 8, 1 to 3. My goodness, let's hurry up. Matthew chapter 8. Watch this. When he was come down from the mountain, the Bible says, a great multitude followed him. Verse 2. And behold, there came a leper and worshipped him saying, Lord, if thou will, give us amplified in fact. Amplified, thank you. Behold, a leper came to him prostrating himself. He worshipped him and said, Lord, if you are willing, I don't know whether this is your will, you are able to cleanse me from, by curing me, verse 3 read it as loud as you can my god i sense the power of god already and he reached out and touched him saying i am willing one more time i am willing one more time as a result be cleansed i am willing prosper i am willing rise i am willing be great you need to know what the will of God is. This is one of the assignments of the Holy Spirit. Man of God, it is the will of God for you to excel in ministry. It's not the will of God for you to be small. Souls cannot be saved when you are small. Don't mind ignorant people. It is God's will for you to rise, to contend for strategic kingdom influence for the sake of his majesty. It is the will of God for you to be anointed in ever increasing dimensions so you can do more for Jesus it is the will of God for you to prosper so you can give in conferences like this without it affecting you and without you frowning the will of God that means everything that is not the will of God tonight let that become your prayer request let that become yours your point of annoyance you are a man of God and you came here and it looks like you love God sincerely but ministry is not working don't sit down wondering is it the will of God to lift me now you know what to pray for when it's time to pray Lord the anointing that brings consolation to men in ministry that that grace will locate me indeed 
Let me give you one more. Everything that does not glorify God is not the will of God. And then the final thoughts that I will give you, can you imagine we're just dissecting what you hear? God is glorified when the word is made manifest in your life. God is glorified. You are not the only one who is happy. It is in God's interest that the word works for you. God is glorified when the word is made manifest in your life. Matthew chapter 9, 6 to 8. Let's hurry up. Matthew 9, 6 to 8. But that ye may know, this is the healing of the paralytic. Remember, they brought a man who had palsy. He was paralyzed. And they asked Jesus to heal him. And Jesus said, your sins be forgiven you. And he, you, they called him blasphemous. And he now said, which is easier? But that ye may know that the Son of Man had power on earth to forgive sins. Then he said unto the sick of palsy, arise, take up your bed and go to your house. Next verse, please. And he arose and departed to his house. Verse 8. <laughs> And when the multitude saw it, they marveled and glorified God, which had given such power unto men. There are men that have such power. Did you hear what I said? Not everyone, but there are men that God gave such power. What kind of power? The power to heal. The power to silence your yesterday. Did you hear what I'm saying? There are men, and as I'm saying it now, in the name of Jesus, I stretch my hands as one by grace who has been given such power. It's God that gives men such power. That everything that has mocked God in your life, in the name of Jesus, the Son of the living God, let it die permanently this night. Give us that scripture. But the multitude saw it. If it is God, men must see it. Are we together? It is your training that is in secret. When God begins to display his hand upon your life, the multitude saw it like you will be seen shortly. And the Bible says they marveled. But you see, this is the difference between the promotion of flesh and the glorification of Jesus. When men marvel and the credit goes to the man of God, then something is wrong. Anything that is sponsored by the Spirit of God must directly glorify the Christ. They marveled and they glorified God, which had given such power. I found this scripture and I said, my God, he never said had given power. There is something called such power. Power. signature results that only come with certain dimensions of impartation such power given such power that you can tell somebody by this week may God lift you there is a grace listen if you don't have it humble yourself and find out how to receive it but don't say because I don't have it is not there there are people who are given such For everyone who has attended this miracle service, I'm prophesying to you in the name of Jesus before this week is over. May my God, by the administration of such power, surprise you in a way that will bring tears from your eyes. Surprise you in a way that will bring tears to your eyes. If God can replace a fallopian tube that has been removed, medically proven, May my God replace everything that has been lost in your life. Do you believe this? So the hearing of faith, it says, beware of what you hear. Sit down. Let me wrap up. Then we begin to minister. Hallelujah. The next dimension to the hearing of faith is found in Luke 8.18. Give us Amplified. Luke 8.18. He 
he now says be careful how you hear this is the second dimension to the hearing of faith the first talks about the correctness of the information but the second talks about your attitude while you receive don't just be careful about what you hear you must be careful how you hear it for to him who has spiritual knowledge more will be given and to him who does not have spiritual knowledge even that which he thinks and guesses and supposes that he has will be taken away from him hallelujah so the first talks about the correctness of the spiritual information upon which your faith is built but the second talks about your attitude teachability the swiftness to obey trembling at the word of god not bringing all kinds of um, arguments around the word of god and rendering it of none effect through your traditions hebrews chapter 4 i'm reminded from verse 1 and 2 the bible says let us therefore fear less a promise being left us of entering into his rest the promise is for us but we can miss it out that any of you should come short of it verse 2 it says for unto us was the gospel preached ladies and gentlemen hear this as well as unto them so there are two groups of people us and them but the word preached did not profit them why not be mixed with faith in them that heard it so their problem was not hearing they had the truth but they did not mind the attitude they doubted oh is it true that god can do this i know this is true but can god turn my life around can i really be a, a deborah can god pick me from this lowly estate with all my limitations there are two cautions in scripture number one what you hear number two how you hear james chapter 1 22 and 25 be ye doers of the word be ye doers of the word and not hearers only it starts with hearing but performance is not just about hearing it says if you hear only you are deceiving your own self next verse please it says but who so look at into the perfect law of liberty and continue it therein he not being a forgetful hearer but a doer of the work he said this man shall be blessed in how many all his deeds all his deeds say i'm a doer lay your hands on your head and prophesy say i'm a doer i'm a doer the grace to do is released upon me in the name of jesus i wrote something here and i want you to listen only those who obediently act on the word get results from it only those who obediently act on the word get results from it only those who obediently act on the word get results from it he that ministered to you the spirit and walketh miracles among you did he do it by the works of the law or by the hearing of faith that means if you want to work miracles the first raw material is to bring the correct information by the spirit serve it to god's people with excellence then the next thing cultivate an attitude of faith within them you see this is what the bible calls the sent word psalm 107 and verse 20. he sent forth his word and healed them not he spake his word the sent word and delivered them from their destructions hear me koinonia the word that is about to come that will produce the supernatural miracle right now is a sent word and there are three ways to access the sent word can i give you that before we pray number one light from scripture the first way believers access the sent word is light from scripture light from scripture right for reference luke chapter 4 from verse 17 to 21 jesus was in the temple 
and it was delivered to him the book and he found there where it was written and verse 21 says when he looked at them their faces were fastened on him and he said this day is this scripture that was written fulfilled in your ears light from scripture hebrews chapter 10 and verse 7 lo i come in the volume of the book it is written of me to do to do thy will it is written already light from scripture you can find from scripture what god has said and that becomes a sent word number two sent words come as prophetic instructions directly from god or through his anointed vessels this is the second way we access the sent word number one light from scripture number two instructions directly from god by his spirit or from his anointed vessels john chapter 5 6 to 9 we see the power of the sent word as instructions when jesus saw him lie him being the man who had been at bethesda for 38 years and knew that he had now been a long time he said to him will thou be made whole next verse please the impotent man said sir i have no man when the water is troubled to put me in the pool but while i am coming another step it down before me verse 8 jesus said to him if you believe rise up take your bed correct information he heard well now what was going to be his response to the sent word the bible says immediately at the instance of the word the man was made whole whether he knew he was made whole or not was a different thing but the bible says he was made whole and he proved that he believed he was whole by taking up his bed and he walked and that same day was the sabbath so a word can come in the name of jesus christ if you've not walked stand up and walk you can sit down there and perhaps not get a miracle but somebody will take a step of faith check your body do when prophetic instructions come they are not just some gimmicks and mechanics from men of god it is by the spirit it is a sent word sometimes it can be to shout sometimes it can be to lay your hands can be to keep quiet under an atmosphere of the spirit you must believe and respect the sent word that comes as prophetic instructions number three how does the sent word come by prophetic declarations these ones are not instructions they are speakings ezekiel 37 7 i prophesied as i was commanded he did not instruct the bones he prophesied and there was a noise and behold a shaking and bones came together bone to his bone i prophesied as i was commanded ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 2 and the spirit entered into me when he spake unto me and set me upon my feet that i heard him that spake unto me let me recap again that when it has to do with the administration of the sent word there are three biblical ways the sent word that brings healing that brings deliverance that brings lifting comes to believers number one light from scripture number two prophetic instructions if it be thou bid me come and he said come he never said peter come he said come whoever acted on that instruction would have been the beneficiary of that word as we conclude remember that the principles you have heard today are keys to unlocking divine favor and lasting transformation. Apply them diligently and watch as God moves mightily in your life. I believe this message has sparked a shift in your spiritual understanding. Let it take a root in your heart and may the Lord empower you to walk in the, in the fullness of his will. As you meditate on this truth, may the grace of God enable you to put them into action and see tangible results in every area of your life. Continue to press deeper into God and may his presence guide you always. Stay blessed.
and keep growing in the knowledge of Christ. 